Welcome to DTV. I'm joined by assistant coach Ben Matthews, who'll be previewing this week's clash against the West Coast Eagles. Ben, uh, good to be chatting with you this week. Uh, obviously, the D's uh, coming off a, a loss last week, but playing uh, West Coast first home game of the season. Um, what's the main focus been this week? Oh, look, um, we felt we did plenty right against uh, the Saints last week, but coming up against um, the Eagles, I mean, they're a very hard running side, uh, so we're going to have to be. Uh, at our best in the defensive running areas of the game, and obviously their, their tall timbers are um, a real focus for us this week. I mean, Nat Nui, Cox, Sinclair last week, and then you throw Darling and Kennedy up forward into the mix. So really big job for our talls this week to um, nullify uh, the West Coast Eagles' talls. And, and then it becomes a, a, an opportunity for our mids and, and smalls to, to go at them and, um, you know, challenge a, a highly rated side. Yeah, so, yeah great opportunity. Yeah. Selection this week, a um, couple of wins so far with uh, Blees, Kent and Evans, uh, the side's still to be finalised of course, but uh, what, what do they bring to the, the mix? Yeah, look, obviously um, Blees, he had opportunities throughout the pre-season, he's you know, light and quick and he, he brings great speed, so um, if, if, if he gets an opportunity this weekend, you know, it, it, we need him to be using his speed on the outside and, and hopefully um, hitting the scoreboard. And, I think Evo um, has been in really good form. Uh, he's he's you know been knocking down the door the last two weeks against Williamstown and also against Port Melbourne in the in the VFL, uh, getting good uh, you know hands on the footy, um, using it pretty well, and you know and his running power's right up there. He's a great runner. So against the Eagles, he could be a real asset. And, and young Kenty is um, you know he he's been building on his preseason. He had a bit of an injury interrupted preseason prior to Christmas, but. Um, he brings great power, he's fast and he's a, and a beautiful left foot kick so um, you know they're all in the mix and, and uh, if they get the opportunity you know they'll have to put their best foot forward yeah. The midfield group which you're looking after since you've uh, arrived at the club um, how'd you find the first round and just uh, plenty of new guys in the mix um, how's it all gelling? Yeah look there is plenty of new guys, I mean it's basically apart from Nathan Jones and, and uh, Jack Watts, it's, it is a relatively new group all thrown in and mixed in together um, look, I thought they, they performed really strongly. Uh, Jake Spencer's been you know, holding the ruck while uh, the Tools are coming back from injury and he's been doing a, a great job. I mean, he, he rucked manfully last week and, and gave us a contest and that's all we asked from Jake. Uh, and then the mids, you know, really got their hands on the footy. Jones, Tyson, Bernie Vince could have kicked goals. Um, you throw Viv Mitchie in as a new player, only in his second game last weekend. Uh, and obviously what's he coming through the, the, uh, that area of the ground and Daniel Cross so I think they're, they're still working out each other's games and, and learning from each other and, and how they best can go about their footy together but uh, you know I'm reasonably uh, optimistic on, on you know, them getting it right pretty quickly and, and you know, having a good effect on the team yeah. What's his game was uh, obviously highly rated and uh, Paul Roos mentioned he was probably Melbourne's best last mm. week at 27 touches um, how did you sort of find his game, just sort of honing in on his? Yeah, look, obviously um, we thought it was a very good game. He uses the ball beautifully. And, look, he used his speed uh, last week when he got hands on footy. He, he challenged them with his speed and he has got great speed. And, and just his composure with the ball. He's a good decision maker um, with time and space and, and, and uses the ball really well. So, look, it's another step forward for Jack. He's got to keep building on that and, and, and be consistent, um, consistent with his effort. Probably hasn't helped him that we haven't got too many tools up forward, so there's going to be times where he's up forward and, and in that uh, mix, you know, in the forward line, but certainly we'll get him around the footy as much as we can. Yeah. And of course, you're working with uh, George Stone, a veteran of the game, and plenty of success with George, but uh, how are you finding just uh, working in the midfield with him and just how it's all coming along? Look, I reckon it's going really well. Obviously, I've known George for, I don't know, 15, 20 years, so I uh, worked with him as a player, and, and his knowledge of the game is, is unbelievable, and it's great help for me because I, I learn off the a wise old man every day so um, he, he's been brilliant for me he, he uh, looks a lot at the strategy and, and how we want to play versus you know our opposition and, and I uh, concentrate on structural things around stoppage and, and those areas of the game and, and working one on one with the players so look I think we complement each other really well um, he's, he's uh, as I said so experienced that you can't not learn each day you go to work and, and just the subtleties of, of match day as well in the coach's box you know I'm learning all the time so um, for us, I think we're you know we're we're really working well. We've got a strong relationship, and um, hopefully that comes through over the course of the year. Yeah. All right, Benny. Well, good chatting, and uh, best luck against the Eagles on Sunday. Good on you, Thanks. Thanks.